This video is targeted po para po sa aking mga deck cadet and mga deck rating po na subscribers and viewers. Now, sa loob po ng navigational watch, what are the checks na you need to take in order for you to have a safe navigational watch? In this video, I am going to familiarize you. Okay? Very quick lang tong video na to. Okay, but again, number one, Okay, the person steering the ship or the automatic pilot is steering the correct course. That is the first thing na you need to check. Okay, make sure na ang iyong autopilot is steering the correct course. Baka mamaya hindi na po aligned sa inyong passage plan. Baka mamaya po ang inyong uh, rudder is hindi na po in coordination with the uh, autopilot. Okay, hindi natin alam or your compass is not aligned with your autopilot. We never know. Number two is the standard compass error is determined at least once. At least once a watch and when possible after any major alteration of course. The standard and gyro compasses are frequently compared and repeaters are synchronized with their master compass. Now I wanna uh, discuss for this number two. The standard compass error is determined at least once a watch and when possible. Okay? Minsan po kasi kapag kinakanda kang iyong navigational watch, may mga times po na ang iyong uh, sky is overcast. Okay? May mga maluloko pong mga deck cadet or mga deck officers, they, they would put sa compass error log, overcast skies, no observation. Okay, may mga ganyan, okay? Pero kung okay naman ang panahon, okay? At least eh, at least once a watch. Okay, at least once a watch. Okay? Tama ang iyong uh, compass error. Okay, na-determine mo ang iyong compass error. At least 0 point na sa within 1.0 less than. Okay? Dapat less than 1.0. Okay, hindi pa din 1.0. Kailangan uh, mga 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Yan. Yan yung mga preferred na port state control na compass error. 0 0.4, 0 0.2 east. Yan mga ganyan. 0 0.5 west. Mga ganyan. Basta nasa 0. Okay? Love na love na port state control. Especially your company. Okay? Tapos, yung next naman na ito, and when possible, after any major alteration, of course. Now, ito kapag ka-open sea po, halilinawin ko lang po, kapag open sea. Hindi po kapag ka maneuvering pa berth or sa coast, okay? Hindi po ganon, okay? Kapag ka nasa may major alteration kayo ng course sa inyong passage plan at kapag ka open sea. Halilinawin ko po, open sea. Very basic. The standard and gyro compasses are frequently compared, okay, and repeaters, meron kang port repeater and starboard repeater, okay, Ma kailangan pong i-compare po ninyo yan kung tama po or pareha sila ng reading, okay, synchronize with their master compass, okay, nakasynchronize po sa gitna, nandun po yung master compass sa gitna ng inyong barko, make sure na synchronize po yan, okay, number three, the automatic pilot is tested manually at least once a watch. Now, ito po ha, during po ng watch ninyo, okay, kayo pong mga sasampan na third mate, okay, o inexperience pa, wag po tayo magre-rely sa, well, sa technology. Okay, especially din po sa ating mga deck cadets din po, okay. Again, nasa online class kasi, kaya uh, uh, ang hirap nito sabihin. But, then again, wag po tayo magre-rely sa technology because pwede pong pumalpak yan, pwede yung pumalya. Okay, your electrical could go haywire and then, di ba, mag-malfunction. Okay, so you have to test frequently ang inyong manual steering. Okay, I mean, sobrang dali lang po magtimon, bawi-bawi lang po yan. Okay, wag, wag masyadong malaki ang inyong pagliko, o di malaki din ang bawi mo. Okay, so the automatic pilot is tested manually at least once a watch. Okay, next up. The navigation and signal lights and other navigational equipment are functioning properly. Now, I want to discuss this one further. Is I natin. The navigational and signal lights. Now, the navigational lights that consists of your mass headlights, side lights, okay? Now, make sure po na ang inyong side lights are checked. Okay? Because minsan po doon sa, light, sa control light panel, nakalagay po doon na, okay, may bumbilya pa na gumagana. Okay pa yung, let's say, port na red light. Okay pa yung port red light. Diba? Pero pag chinek mo na visually sa labas, pag tingin mo, dude, walang, walang sindi, walang, walang ilaw, walang pula doon sa gilid ng side light ko. Ah, diba? Pero naka-indicate doon sa aking uh, control panel, may ilaw. Diba? So, error na. Okay? So, you have to uh, replace immediately your red, uh, star, uh, red port light, I should say. Okay? So, you have to report that one to your master. 
Okay? Now, you tell them na, Captain, ang ating uh, port red light is no longer, di ba, working. Okay? No longer functional. It, it's not showing any red light. Okay? Para ma-check po yung red light ninyo sa inyong, or yung mga side lights po ninyo, gumamit po kayo ng uh, may stick na pwedeng gamitin tapos may salamin. Okay, mag-a-attach ka lang sa lamin sa dulo or maybe anything anything na reflective. Okay? Tapos i ganyan mo sa ibaba. Oh, I should say sa itaas and then dahan-dahan mo ibababa. Pag nag-reflect, pag nag-reflect po yung ilaw, pag nag-reflect po yung ilaw, parang ganito, sana yung aking uh, para mas maunawaan ako. Ito, halimbawa ito. Okay? Ito yung just imagine itong yellow na part, ito yung stick. Napaka ganda ng example ko, alcohol but bear with me. Okay? So, imagine mo ito yung stick. Okay, ito yung stick tong dilaw na part and then itong plastic na part, ito yung reflective part. So you just have to lower. Okay, pag nag-reflect dito po sa ating plastic, ibig sabihin po may sinde. Kasi hindi po pwedeng ganyan mo yan, malalaglag ka. Okay, mataas po ang inyong bridge wing. Okay, mataas po ang inyong bridge wing. Okay? And yung signal lights, yung Aldis lang po, testingin ninyo, paglaruan ninyo, okay? Make sure na ang inyong spotlights din is gumagana. Minsan kasi pag na-expose po sa seawater, again, na, 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 ang tagal, okay? They go haywire. Okay? They go haywire. So again, check and recheck again, paglaruan ninyo kung kaya. Okay? Because nawa-warm up yung mga wires, especially pag ang barko ninyo is gawa sa, in my case, one of our ships gawa sa Yangfang Shipyard, sa Yangfang, China. Okay, so we have to, uh, alam mo yun, talagang i-double check and warm up yung mga electrical wires. Okay, to make sure na walang punde, walang palya, eh, to warm things up. Okay, we, nung dumaan kami, I remember, dumaan kami sa, papunta kami sa Chile. Galing kami sa Panama Canal, papunta kami sa Chile. Grabe po ang mga fishing vessels doon. Ang mga fishing vessels doon, natutulog sila sa gitan ng dagat. Ang ilaw lang nila is parang, di ba, parang ring light lang na maliit. Tapos yun lang, yun lang yung ilaw nila sa gabi Tapos kailangan mano-mano mo pang Di ba, lagwabista talaga Or binoculars for those of you who don't know Okay, so mano-mano mo titignan Huwag kang magre-rely sa radar mo Okay, De dahil minsan may scan ang radar Na hindi niya na-detect na yung mga fishing boats Okay So again, so you have to check sa lagwabista Mano-mano, binoculars And at the same time Kapag uh, ayaw umalis Nung, uh, let's just say Nung uh, fishing boat sa inyong passageway Buksan mo ang inyong spotlight and then ilawa mo sila. Ganun yung ginagawa namin way back in the day. So, hindi naman namin ginagamit yung horn as per call reg. Eh, pwede daw dapat gamitin ang uh, uh, dapat daw gamitin dapat daw gamitin ang iyong horn. Pero kasi, syempre, gabi yan. You don't wanna disturb people. We wanna, di ba, spotlight lang. Okay? So, uh, next naman is yung other navigational equipment. Okay? Navigational equipment are functioning properly. Okay, your radar, your ECDIS. Okay, because baka mamaya biglang may, 'di ba, mag-install ng update si second mate pero yung update pala na yon faulty, hindi pala kaya ng ECDIS. So, pwedeng mag-fail. Okay, sa so watch mo tapos eh, biglang ikaw yung sisisihin, pwedeng ganyan. Okay? So, again, make sure that your compasses, your radio, uh, your GMDSS equipments are okay. Make sure na ang iyong radar, ECDIS, Diba? They are all working. They are all synchronized. Okay, AIS, your VHF, test and test and test your equipment, your MF radio. Okay, you have to check them. Okay, so next tayo is the radio equipment is functioning properly. Nabanggit ko nga kanina. And last but not the least, the UMS control or unmanned system controls, alarms and indicators are functioning properly. Now, ito in correlation ito with your uh, engineers. Okay, the UMS controls, unmanned system controls. Okay, make sure na kapag may palya sa engine room, mag alarma Kasi po, ito po, sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, ang uh, kabina po ni chief engineer, second engineer, third engineer, and ni fourth engineer, meron po silang unmanned alarm uh, system sa loob ng kanilang uh, mga kabina. Okay, so kapag kasinet nila sa ECR, sa engine control room, okay, unmanned tayo ngayon, well, Diba? Sino ba naka-duty ngayon? O oh, si, ah, si third engineer ngayon. Si third engineer ngayon. Ngayon, ang isiset nila doon sa kanilang alarm system is si third engineer. And then, pag nag-alarma, pag nag-alarma, let's say, sa ECR, on all four rooms, okay, on all four rooms, kay third engineer lang na alarm ang tutunog. Okay? Everybody else, kay chief engineer, second, or kay fourth engineer, hindi po mag-alarm kay third engineer lamang po. Okay, so make sure na it's working now sa kanila din to. Now, sa bridge naman po, meron din naman po tayong ganyang alarm. 
natin, okay? So, pag nag-alarm sa makina, mag-a-alarm din sa atin, dyan sa itaas. Okay, so very basic lamang po ito na familiarization, okay? Pag sa mo ng barko, dude, I mean, buti na lang na familiarize ako sa video na to. That's what you would say, okay? And I'm glad to be of service sa inyo. Then again, hope you've learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly po, to God be all the glory. Ingat kayo lahat, and then keep safe po.